everybody, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday with me, Laura. And in today's crochet tutorial, I will be showing you how to make these really cute angel wings. Super easy for beginners, nothing too complicated, mainly made of half double crochets. So let's begin, shall we? Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm using a sport baby weight yarn, so it's a yarn weight of two, and with that, I'm using a three millimeter crochet hook, but you can use any yarn and hook that you like for these wings. So the first thing we're gonna do is a slip knot, okay? And we're going to chain two. So chain one, chain two. Then we're going to work three half double crochets in the first chains. This pattern's in US terminology. So in UK terms, that's gonna be half trebles. So we're gonna yarn over and going into the first chain that you made, we're going to work three half double crochets. So pull through all three. Okay, work another one in that same first chain. And one more, all in that first chain. Okay, then we are going to do a chain one and we're gonna turn our work. Okay, so we have a stitch count of three, not including that chain one, and in the f each stitch, we're going to work two half double crochets. So we're gonna yarn over and go into that first stitch and work two half double crochets, one and two. And we're gonna work two half double crochet in the next stitch, one and two and work two half double crochets in the last stitch okay so our stitch count has now gone up to six okay so it should look like that then what we're going to do is we are going to chain three one two and three turn your work and what we're going to do is we're going to work one half double crochet in the third chain from our hook. So basically the first chain that we did. So we don't count the loop on a hook. So our first chain, second and third. So in that, literally in that first chain that we made, we're going to work a half double crochet in there. Okay, and keep working in the right direction. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip that first stitch and we're gonna slip stitch in the next stitch. So slip stitch in the next stitch. Okay, and you've got like this little sort of pico here. Then we're gonna chain four this time. So one, two, three, and four. And again, we're gonna work a half double crochet in our third chain from our hook. So don't count the loop. One, two, three. So it's basically our second chain. So into there we work a half double crochet and we also work a half double crochet in the last chain like so and then we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch so slip stitch in the next stitch here okay and this time we're going to chain five one two three four, five. And again, we're gonna work a half double crochet in our third chain. So one, two, three. In there, we work half double crochet. We work a half double crochet in the next chain. And we work a half double crochet in the last chain. Same thing again, we're gonna slip stitch in the next stitch. Then this time we're going to chain six. So you can see a pattern happening now. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And again, we're going to get some more yarn. Do a half double crochet in our third chain. So one, two, three, half double crochet. And then a half double crochet in the remaining three, back to the beginning. So half double crochet in there, half double crochet in the next chain, and a half double crochet in the last chain. 
Okay, and then slip stitch in the next stitch. Okay, then we're going to do that one more time. So we are going to chain seven this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, work a half double crochet in the third chain. So one, two, three, half double crochet in there. And then work one half double crochet in the remaining chains back to the beginning. So half double crochet in the next chain, half double crochet in the next chain, and the next chain, and in the last chain. Okay, and then you should have one stitch left on here and we're just going to slip stitch into there. Okay, so we have half half an angel's wing. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to a slip stitch as neatly as we can up to this very, very beginning hole here, this beginning chain. So just find a little bit of fabric and a little bit of yarn and just work a slip stitch there. And squeeze in another one, just slightly further along. And then you should be at the very, very beginning first chain where your tail end is. I'm going to slip stitch into there. Okay, now what we're going to do is kind of do that in reverse. So we're going to start off by working a little chain one. And into that same first chain, we're going to work three half double crochets. So go into that big, it's a little bit big hole now, just three half double crochets. One two and three okay and we're then going to do a chain one and turn and just like before we're going to work two half double crochet in each stitch along so go into that first stitch and work two half double crochets so it's one and two then two in the next stitch one and two and two in the last stitch as well one and two okay then what we're going to do is we are going to chain seven this time so chain one two three four five six and seven so we're doing it in reverse then again just like before we're going to do a half double crochet in the third chain so one two three half double crochet in there and work a half double crochet in the remaining chains back to the beginning just half double crochets okay so there's two more and one more. Okay. So it should look like this. And then we want to turn our work. And then we're going to skip that first stitch and slip stitch in that second stitch. Okay. And then obviously the next one is we're going to chain, uh, we're going to chain six. So chain one, two, three, four five and six and again we work half double crochet in the third chain and then half double crochets back to the beginning in the remaining three okay half double crochets the next chain half double crochet in the last chain okay then we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch and then the next one we chain five. Chain one, two, three, four, five. Again, we work a half double crochet in the third chain. One, two, three. Half double crochet in the last two chains as well. Back to the beginning. 
comfortable crochet in there. And then we slip stitch in the next stitch. So we've done seven, six, five. So the next one we chain four. One, two, three, four. Half double crochet in the third chain, so one, two, three. That just leaves us with one chain left. So we, in the last chain, a half double crochet as well. Okay, slip stitch in the next stitch. And then the very last bit, we just chain uh, three. One, two, three. Then we work a half double crochet in that third chain, one, two, three, which is basically the first chain, this last one here. Half double crochet in there. And we should have one little stitch remaining. We slip stitch into there to complete the other half of our angel wings. So what we want to do now is we want to just cut our yarn. You can always leave a little bit for sewing on to objects. Pull that loop through. And then we just need to neaten off our tail ends. So for this tail end, I'm just going to sew to the back next to the last pico. Turn it over and hide the tail end as neatly as we can. Don't tend to show this very often. But there is a reason. Then trim that down. Okay, and then this beginning tail end, what you can do with this beginning tail end if you want to is you can just make this circle smaller uh, if this very beginning chain is too big or you can leave it as it is entirely up to you. It's going to be hidden probably on the back of something. So to do that though, if you want to make it smaller is you see these stitches here where these half double crochets are, we're just going to feed our tail end through those, and then through these next two, and these next two, okay, and then you can just pull and then do the same the other side. I've gone through about three there, through the remaining stitches, back to where we started. And should be able to give it a nice pull. And as you can see, that brings in the hole a lot. So you just draw stringing that closed and then just secure that and either trim that down or use it to sew onto something. So cut that down. And there we go. That is the end of our little pattern. And you can add this, add these to anything. You could do an angel applique, you could add it to amigurumi. We just happen to have some amigurumi uh, cats here. These are made with plushy yarn. And this pattern is actually from around Halloween. I did a tiny little cat. I'll put a link to that uh, tutorial in the description below or over this video or somewhere. And uh, I just changed up the cotton yarn and used a plushy yarn. And we have a few actually. So these are made with a five millimeter hook and this larger one is actually made with a six millimeter hook so you can really play with using different yarns and uh, hook sizes but if you wanted to you could add some little cute angel wings to your little kitty cat if you wanted to I'd probably make this in a bigger yarn because um, this yarn's a little bit small for this plushy cat but yes you can add it to anything you could even this is my little uh, gonk tutorial from uh, was it week before last um, I'd also put a link to that tutorial um, also again made in a plushy yarn rather than a cotton yarn you could add it to your little gonks and one particular pattern, I do have this really cute little angel, which totally matches the angel wings. So if you'd like this pattern, it's now available on the website, happyberry.co.uk, if you want to go check that out. And it's really sweet because it's got this little um, holder tassel here, which just looks like the halo. So beautiful Christmas uh, decoration. Thank you, as always, to our Happy Berry Plus members, our monthly subscribers, for helping make these tutorials possible. If you are interested in our monthly subscription, there's behind the scenes, a podcast, a crochet magazine, 
uh, with exclusive patterns and beautiful ones. Our December issue has just come out um, with some great tutorial, uh, not tutorials, patterns. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and like and share. And I will see you soon for some more crochet crafting fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.